The purpose of this video is to provide uh, and explore another solution for our project. Um, the owner requires us to have a 12 foot by 8 foot trash enclosure with gate, three parking slots, but because of uh, we are providing parking, then the Americans with Disability Act, the ADA, says that we need to provide one of them to be um, handicap parking. And if we have handicap parking, we must have a van accessible parking. And any hand, handicap parking requires a um, accessible aisle. Uh, so you have two options, either five foot aisle with 11 foot wide parking or uh, eight foot and eight foot wide uh, parking spaces. One of them would be the accessible aisle. So this one works, but you know we have to post a parking uh, sign that says no parking on Tuesdays or Wednesdays from 10 to 12 so that the garbage truck can get this um to this area over here so it's a little bit not nice um or not nice i mean not um uh, the most promising uh because of um the uh um, limited access to trash enclosure and then also a square building um it's kind of uh boring because you don't have uh, any much break or play in, in the um, in the floor plan later. We we're not talking about floor plans yet, but uh, yeah. Um, but this is the extent of the building. So if we explore other options, then we must have to solve the parking and trash enclosure um, access first before we can uh, have another option. Here is a. Uh, Another solution for our project where you have a uh, parallel parking instead of a perpendicular one. And according to the Sacramento parking regulations or development standards for the city of Sacramento, you can put parking and it's going to be eight feet wide, uh, but 22 feet long. So we can approach it that way. Uh, the owner wants three parking spaces so there's just three parking spaces uh, americans with disability act says that we need to put um van accessible parking uh so we can do a five feet aisle but a uh, uh 11 feet wide van parking or we can do a eight foot aisle and uh eight foot parking so this one now is 8.5 and this is 22 so we can have three uh, so the building now doesn't look like a square, it's kind of rectangular. We do have a smaller uh, cafe outside, um, but we do have a clear uh, path here for uh, the garbage truck to get the garbage enclosure. This is our um, 15 feet setback line, uh, and then we can have some parking for our bikes, bicycles over here. Uh, we can put, probably put a little curb here and put some. Um, uh plants over here we can actually make this round we can do a fillet or fillet and click these two i'll make it round like that and then just pull it back uh by moving it and then holding it here it's not a midpoint but a quadrant q u a and then hold it here and then simply go back there and then do a trim and remove the excess there you go okay so um, this is uh, another solution. Um, I like the solution because the building is not square, it's rectangular, it has a break. Uh, and certainly uh, building forms that have a uh, lot more corners are more interesting to design than square or just plain rectangular buildings. So it has some um, drawbacks. It has some pluses with this driveway uh more accessible use of space um not a lot of people like uh parallel parking uh but uh this one works and the owner would really uh, have to approve this approach but you have two options uh the first one being uh parking in the back here this one is another solution uh Parking that is has a driveway here will make the building 
smaller so that's not really feasible um yeah so let's turn on the palm trees up front uh and then let's do a hatch which i believe is uh and then i wanted to get a six inch press enter there you go so we have three parkings we have to provide a accessible aisle handicap parking uh bicycle parking here in for long term traction closure workable driveway uh six foot setback for uh outdoor cafe um we have a corner break here yeah i think uh this is a viable solution so uh here's another solution to that one so we do have alternate solutions uh we can stick with this one where we have parking in the back uh portion but the problem is we don't have uh, clear access to the trash enclosure um there's a lot of unusable space here uh too much space for maybe this this kind of business that's left unused so it's not the most ideal um so another solution that we were exploring was instead of perpendicular parking we will be using parallel parking we still have to meet ada requirements like a side uh, access aisle but we did meet the three requirement parking of the owner and we have a, a straight through in access to the trash enclosure uh, we have um, a modest space behind for bicycles or uh, whatnot and um, we do have uh, one drawback of this one is we do have a uh, smaller outdoor cafe area with six foot um, setback so that those i think two uh solutions would work but again it's up to the owner to approve it uh, but we do have an option to play around with uh, either a square building or some long rectangular building with a little break corner here which makes it a little bit interesting uh, so um, either one uh, should work and we can start planning um, this layout uh, using square or maybe this rectangular with this interior corner break